Okay, hi, good afternoon. My name's Andy Cooper. Uh, I'm a member of CAMRA, which is the Campaign for Real Ale, which has been going for 50 years now in the UK. It's actually the largest consumer group in, in England, and it, or in the UK and in Europe. And the, it is there to promote real ale. A real ale is beer that does not have, it's a keg beer that has gas and CO2 on it. We don't like, we like living beer, which is pulled from a hand pump. And uh, I have now become a qualified bar manager and work at many beer festivals with camera at uh, the Great British Beer Festival and many in Scotland. I've also have done a beer judging course. I have a qualification as a beer taster and I've also done a, a course in off flavors. So I've done most of the courses that camera run. These are accredited training courses for which you become certificated and they allow you to go and judge for Champion Beer of Scotland, Champion Beer of Britain, uh, which is a lot of fun. You get to taste lots of different beers uh, of all different types, from ordinary beers right through to speciality beers. This is a very unique British thing which has come to Europe, and this is why we appreciate British beers, the fact that cast beers and there's many how has it evolved? Normally it's in, uh, we know it as in wooden barrels and metal kegs and now you're saying it's in plastic, which sounds horrific. Yeah, the, 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 the following on from the, the craft beer revolution, as they call it, where you have these key kegs, or some people like to call them key cask. I like to call it just beer in a bag. Uh, because there's no gas actually put onto the beer, the CO2, the, the, it's only an air pressure between the outside container and the bag, it's becoming acceptable to the campaign for real ale headquarters. A huge number of people don't like it. Uh, one of the biggest problems is the fact that it's introducing huge amounts of plastic, which up until recently were not recyclable at all and the only thing that ever happened to them was to be turned into tables or chairs. And uh, the majority of people would much sooner that we were still having beer, if we could, in wooden barrels, but there's very, very few people doing that now. Probably the only one that I know in England is Theakston's Brewery, who still put some of their old peculiar... And tiger. Yeah, in, in, uh, into, into wooden casks, which is good. But uh, as long as we can stick with metal cask but it's real ale and it's served either by gravity on a hand pump then uh, we can continue to improve that the number of brewers has just absolutely exploded in Scotland where I'm staying five or six years ago there were 50 or so brewers there's now over well over 200 brewers doing cask beers doing doing real ale yeah doing real cask ale. beers yep yeah and it's really spread to Europe because we have many things in Brussels and Antwerp, where they have at least two hand pumps. We have Lermitage, we have East. What do you think of that? Is that, well, I think that's the real British heritage. Oh, absolutely, it's brilliant. Beer. I mean, we, we have for a few years, because my colleague lives in, in, he lives and works here at the moment. We've been to Moda Lambic in Brussels, and, uh, and they've got quite a few hand pumps along the back of the bar. And uh, they serve a lot of their beer like that, which is really good. <laughs> and uh, we, yeah, I mean, the, the more the more craft, uh, sorry, the more real ale that comes to Europe, the better. I mean, in America now, it's taken off in a big way. We, we had a gentleman doing a, a bar manager's course with us from New England, and between camera and the New England Brewing Association, they send somebody to London every year to become a bar manager, and they send all the beer from cask beer from America, from New England, to excuse me. It's a nice giraffe. Yeah, <laughs> they, they send they send the uh, the cast beer from America to be sold at the Great British Beer Festival, and then when they're all empty, they go to brewers in the UK, and they fill them up and they send them back for a big ex uh, for a big beer festival in Boston, uh, which is really good. And they they do that twice a year now, which is absolutely superb. What's the difference between say the Belgian thing of fermentation in the bottle, which is a very Belgian thing, second fermentation? as opposed to cast brews, what is the, you know, explain to people who don't know. It, it, there's a lot of different, uh, there are a lot of bottle conditioned beers in the UK now, but not, not nearly so many. It, it's, it's something that used to happen in the UK and, and then it stopped. Uh, and, and in fact, camera started 50 years ago because we'd reached the point where there were only really four main brewers, major brewers in the whole of the UK, and they were getting rid of all the cask beer. 
you know, you, you may have heard in your life of Watney's Red Barrel. I mean, this was just, you know, it, absolutely dreadful keg beer. And the, the four major brewers decided that this was the way because real ale will only last you for three or four days and, and then it will go off if you don't sell it. It's, uh, that, that's as good as it gets. So, but keg beer, you can just keep serving it forever because you've just got CO2 on the top. So it's, um, I don't know, the, the, a lot of the differences with the way that Belgian beer is made is because they use the wild yeasts and uh, you know they make all the different beers whereas in the UK we tend to still try and keep things a bit sterile although a lot of the craft brewers now or some of the craft brewers are trying to make Saison. Saison is becoming quite popular in the UK uh, which is good but you, more, more and more people now are looking for this and, and there's, there's more and more real ale is going into bottles. They, we now have uh, a category for champion beers of Scotland and the U and, and Great Britain and it's four bottled beers and it has to be bottled condition. It can't be can't be filtered. So it's it's becoming more popular. Explain the giraffe. The giraffe, well it, it, we have different beer festivals in uh, the UK and the Glasgow Real Ale Festival. Camera likes to use acronyms. So GRAF, G-R-A-F. So the logo became a giraffe. So the first year they had the festival back in Glasgow. I managed to find a couple of these online and we wore them and we then thought that everybody was so interested that everybody would buy a giraffe so we decided we had to make them different so we let them have a baby and each year we sew on a new baby which is why they've got all the different all the little ones on the top. <laughs>